Hi, this is a basic explanation of how you can adapt a toy to be used with a communication switch. Um, adapted toys are kind of expensive. They can run oh, 50 and up, fifty dollars and upwards. Um, and for this, you can find any toy at a garage sale and adapt it. I'm going to give you just the overviews of the basic circuit. So, normally you'd have a battery, you'd have some kind of switch, and then you would also have um, it would activate a light or a speaker or a sound of some sort. And so that's the basic circuit you'd have there. So if the switch is off, then the toy doesn't operate. But when you push the switch, obviously the toy turns on or lights up. We're going to use a light in this case. So I've got the battery, the switch, and the toy, which is just going to be down to BTS. If I took those away, this is a basic schematic of what you would see. So on the left side, again, the battery. i got a push-button switch on the right, and I've got a light-emitting diode on the bottom, or an LED. If I add an adapted switch, to make an adapted switch, you're just going to add, um, this would be in parallel, technically, um, another switch on the outside that you can activate outside of the toy. So this is what the schematic would look like. Again, two push-button switches, essentially, that'll let that LED light up. This lets the original toy still remain intact. Now, if my original switch is pressed on, then the light is on. Or in the same way, if the adapted switch is on, it also will turn on. So I've got my battery, my original switch, my adapted switch, as well as the toy itself. If you wanted to see what the actual parts look like, there's a AA battery, um, one switch in the middle, and then on the right side is actually a plug, and that's the plug you would use to um, add on to your communication switch. Down at the bottom there's an LED that's uh, been broken off, but shows you the parts, kind of what they look like. This is an example of a good a good toy to actually switch. Um, the LEDs on the end of that spin around when the button is pushed. The S is your original switch, that little silver tab, and the batteries would be down on the right. In the adapted version, again, the original lights stay where they are and the batteries stay where they are, but I've added that additional cord that can operate the switch, um, and it's not too much trouble. Again, those jacks, it's a mono uh, headphone jack, and they cost about a quarter piece. Another example of a good toy, I have a single switch and I've added an adapted switch on the left in that little headphone jack and you can see the battery would be the power over on the right. Um, the screen lights up in this toy and it also runs a speaker but it's all operated by a single switch. This would be a bad example. Uh, this toy requires four switches for the letters plus one for the musical note to play music and light up and it would require four or five times as much work. So um, I would not recommend trying to switch these kind of toys. There's some circuits you can use, but uh, you can look at those otherwise. This is a pretty cool toy. It's just a remote control for a radio-controlled car. And um, it will require two switches. So for a lot of those communication devices, you might be able to choose from two. So there's your basic circuit again. I hope that's a good explanation for you. Get a general idea, and um, I'll try to do a follow-up that's got some actual pictures and some soldering for you. So there's your basics. Good luck.